In this third video of the series, we are going to actually edit your design and finish it so that it looks like something you will be proud of sharing. Okay, so for that we are going to pick up the design we have started in the previous video. Uh, so for that, head over to the Designs tab right here at the bottom. And from here, I'm going to tap on the design that I have started in the previous video and continue to edit it. So if you remember, it was the walk in the park from myself and Diana. So the first thing I want to do here, I noticed that it says walk on the park, not walk in the park. So I'm going to tap on this text box and actually double tap in order to delete and edit my text. Okay, then I tap on done and I'm good. And I can also finish the editing on this particular element by tapping on the check button right here. The next thing I want to do is to edit this text box right here that says add a heading. Of course, I didn't have time to finish this. So two things I want to show you here. First, if this is a little bit small, you can zoom in by simply pinching your screen and uh, with your two finger, like having your two thumbs, for example, spread apart from each other, just a very normal like pinching in and out movement to zoom in and out your Canva design. You can do this for any part of the design, just yeah, pinch in a normal zoom motion that you would do on your phone. So here I'm gonna zoom in on this text box right here and I'm gonna tap on the text box to edit it. I'm gonna tap twice. Okay, so that was last Friday, last Friday in Sydney. Okay, last Friday in Sydney, done. I can zoom out by just zooming out like this. And I noticed I moved my text box slightly, so just make sure it is centered like this. If you're not sure that this text box right here is centered, you can always tap on it and find the button that says position. So this one right here, you see I can align to the page, I can uh, make sure it is centered, I can put it in the middle, so that would be the middle of my page, which I don't want, so I'm gonna bring that back here. If Let's say the, the text box is here and I want to center it, just click on center and Canva will help you position this text box right in the middle. I'm gonna do the same for this other text box. I want it centered and I want it a little bit down here on my design so I don't have that much white space in between my text boxes. Okay, so this looks good. The next thing I want to show you is that you can rotate any of your elements. Just tap on it and you see these two little buttons right here. One is to move this text box around, the first one. And the second one, this one right here, is to rotate that element. So if I move my finger to the left or to the right, I'm gonna rotate this. And if I go around the element in a circle motion, you will see that I can actually give it a 360 rotation. But for now, I'm gonna leave it like this. And I don't want this to be rotated in any way. Just gonna make sure it comes nicely with my first text box right here. Okay, so I have walk in the park last Friday in Sydney. This is good. I can see something is still missing here on this design. So I'm gonna add another element. I would love to find a shape that will come behind this text. So for this, I'm gonna use the plus button. So I'm gonna tap on that and I will be searching for a shape under elements because shapes are under the elements. So I'm gonna tap on elements and scrolling down, you will see here shapes. If I click on this little arrow right here, it will show me all the different shapes. So what I want is something similar to this, kind of like a rounded edges, kind of rectangle or square. So this looks good. And I'm just going to grab these handles, you see here, here and here, to kind of shape this as I wish. So let's make it like this, big enough to cover my entire text here. Okay, so let's say I'm happy with this. I'm gonna click on this check box right here. Okay, now I have this and I can, if I want, whoops, not this, I'm gonna go hit the back arrow. So if you do something, if you perform some actions and you're not happy with the result, you can always go use these arrows, the back and uh, forward arrows here uh, to undo one of your actions. So that's undo and redo. So if I redo, it will slightly rotate this shape under my text box. So I will undo this because I don't want to do this. What I want to do is to move this so it's actually centered 
and it's covering my entire text box here. Okay, so I'm happy with this. I'm going to tap on the check mark to finalize this action. And what I want to do is to actually center this. So again, I'm going to tap on the position button right here. I want to center this. All right, so this is taking shape. From here, I want to do something different. I want to change the color of this shape that I just added here. So I'm going to tap on it, go to color and tap on black. I would love to have this black, but then I need to change the color of my text, but that's all right. So I'm going to start with my box, then click on my text right here, which I don't see because it's black on black, but I know it's here. Find the color button and go for white. Done. And same with this other font here that says walk in the park, change that color for white and done. Okay, now I have this looks good. From here, I want to show you a little trick. If you tap on that shape on that black shape, uh, you can actually move it forward or backward. So make sure it is selected, make sure the element you want to move is selected and tap on the position button. If you move it forward, you see, now it's in front of everything else. Think about what you're designing here in Canva in terms of layers. So now if I want this shape to be pushed to the back, I just use the backwards button here so that my text boxes will show on top of it. Or if you want to really send it all the way to the back, you can click on this other button right here that says to the back but this will push it even behind your background because you have this shape right here, see, which is part of the design actually. Uh, if you push your text box all the way to the back, and now I'm gonna bring it back to the front before moving this back, otherwise it's gonna be hard for me to access it. Okay clicking on that shape right here and moving it backwards twice will allow me to position it behind my text boxes, which is what I wanted. So I wanted to show you this trick on how to move any element backwards, forwards, sent to the front, sent to the back. This is very important. All right, guys, let's make this design a little bit funkier. And for this, I'm going to add another element. And I have in mind that I want to add some sort of movement in there, some sort of animation. So I'm going to tap on this plus button and I'm going to go to my elements trying to find a sticker. So stickers are these little things here like these googly eyes that are moving and there is a category that's that is called stickers. So I'm going to tap on this arrow to see all the stickers. From here you can browse. Okay, so I'm searching for something related to my design where we took a selfie in the park. Let's see if I can find this. Yeah, look at this guy right here. So this will be perfect. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to be brought to my design. I can position it where I want it. So now to really finish the design, I need to move this part a little bit up because it's, it's a little bit under my, uh, my sticker right here. So for this, I'm going to select all of these elements and try to group them. So I'm going to hold one element selected, select the second one and select the third one. You see what I did here? Let me do it again. So if you click on one element and long press, then click on another one and another one, three elements are selected. It says right here, I'm going to tap on done and now they are grouped and I can move this entire group a little bit up like this. So I'm good with this. I can tap on the little check here and maybe the last thing I could do is change the color. This black is not very fun. So maybe something more related to uh, the color here. Just find the right thing. Yeah, green is good and fun. So we'll go for green. One last thing I could be doing is to reduce the size of this hat, which is a little bit too big for Diana's head. So I'm going to make it smaller like this. Okay, so this design is finished. I'm really satisfied about how it turned out. And we are going to leave it here for this video. But in the next one, I'm going to show you how you can share this design with the world. To edit an element, super easy. Just tap on that element and you will see a nav bar showing up at the bottom of your screen. Remember, you can always slide to the right for more editing options.